Hello, I'm Elliot with Advective Weather, and today we're going to be doing an update on Cyclone Freddy. So Freddy has entered the Mozambique Channel after making landfall yesterday over the central coastline of Madagascar as a Category 2 system, and weakened into a zone of disturbed weather according to Meteo France. Landfall is expected over Mozambique in 36 to 48 hours, and Freddy will probably re-strengthen into a severe tropical storm by the time it does so. Impacts from Freddy are likely to be primarily rainfall related in southern Mozambique, although if you're near the coastline you can still expect to see some high winds and storm surge flooding. Freddy is also dis expected to dissipate inland over Africa. So as of 18 UTC on February 22nd, Zone of Disturbed Weather Freddy was located at 22.1 south, 42.4 east, and movement is westward at 10 to 15 knots. At this time, the JTWC estimates 1 minute sustained winds of 25 knots, which makes it a tropical depression, and Meteo France estimates sustained winds of 30 knots and a pressure of 1,004 millibars. So if you look at the visible satellite, you can see that Freddy has weakened significantly. There's barely any convection over the center, and the center itself is not really that well defined anymore, so it's very evident that the terrain of Madagascar has had a lot of impacts on the storm structure. So here's the official forecast from Meteo France. As you can see, it's where the yellow dot is right now. The yellow dot signifies it is a zone of disturbed weather. It is expected to regain moderate tropical storm strength in about 12 hours, and, se and severe tropical storm strength in about 36, before making landfall over the Mozambique coastline. And it's expected to become an inland depression shortly thereafter. So, looking at the weather models now, both the GFS and Euro indicate that Freddy should make landfall as a strong tropical storm to the south of Beira in Mozambique in 36 to 48 hours. The primary concern is going to be flooding, with a large area of 100 mm rainfall totals over the next three days, primarily over southern Mozambique. So here is the Euro model and its rainfall. As you can see here, there is a large swath of purple, which is totals to 50 millimeters or greater. The dark purple is 100 millimeters or greater. So yeah, there's going to be a pretty large area of flooding associated with Freddy as it moves inland through Mozambique. So be wary of that. And storm impacts are going to be felt inland as well with this system. So what can you do to prepare? Always follow official guidance for accurate and up-to-date estimates if you're at risk for cyclone impacts. In the Southwest Indian Ocean Basin, there are two agencies that track tropical cyclones, Meteo France and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Both of these websites provide up-to-date forecasts, so if you're looking for official information, please do check them out. We're only amateurs and we're not professionals yet, so please do follow professionals if you do want to make very important decisions. And if you don't know who you sh if you should evacuate or what you should do to prepare, it's always a good idea to consult your local officials. They know the best what risk you're in and what you should do to prepare for cyclones in your area. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it would be great if you click the subscribe button and joined us. And we also have a Discord server so you can chat with myself and many other meteorology enthusiasts. And that's all for today, so have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you very much.